Imagine a world where there are no rules. I mean, someone could literally walk into your house if they wanted to, take what they wanted to, take your wife, take your kids, do what they want, and you can't do anything about it. Imagine someone driving anywhere they wanted to on the wrong side of the road, not having any rules can mean chaos. It can mean anarchy. For men who want to control their life and control their health, they need to follow some rules. Similar to when you're going to a gym, you see there's a set of rules on the wall that says no towel, no train, put your weights away, no swearing, no spitting, some of those things. So when it comes to trying to improve your health and manage your weight, we need some rules. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking to you about 10 fasting rules that are going to give you some boundaries and some standards to work on. Now, as Aristotle said, we can't learn without pain. So we need to undergo some small amounts of pain here in order to receive pleasure. Let's get stuck into it. First thing to do is to boost your success with a strategic pre-fasting protocol. Now, I'd recommend that you don't just jump straight in. Why? Because you're going to have a sugar crash. Become fat adapted by eating ketogenic um, meals because... Your insulin levels will be lower and less susceptible to hunger if you do. Now, um, you can eat fruit if you want to start detoxifying yourself and go back to more veggies. Uh, but I'd recommend removing some of those things anyway as you start to go into a fasting state. Because when you break your fast, I'd recommend you eat animal fats and protein. That's my opinion. Now... You can also stimulate bowel movements with enemas and saltwater flushes. That's kind of preparing your body to empty out some of the toxins and some of the uh, excess food that's in there to really get it ready. Now, master the art of choosing the perfect time and place for you to fast. Now, I'd recommend you probably start fasting on the weekend uh, because you're in a lower stress environment. There's no distractions, or at least may shouldn't be. Um, and it's a good time to avoid those hangry moments that you might have uh, with co colleagues and co-workers who might be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, keep it quiet and avoid unsupportive people because they could probably bring you down and convince you that what you're doing is the wrong thing. Walk past the bakeries. The third thing is to drink salted water. Now, when you're missing minerals, uh, which aren't in water, your brain stops working well and you get grumpy and you feel bad. So don't miss out on plenty of fluids. And as a rule, men need at least 10 cups of fluids every single day uh, of 250 mils, which obviously equals to over two and a half liters, but more if you need to. Now, a good salt concoction is mixing the following ingredients with water, and you can find this online as well. Uh, potassium chloride, sodium chloride, and magnesium sulfate. Now these can be obtained from some health food shops, and I have recipes if anybody wants to um, grab that. Now, um, start the day with, uh, with water before drinking any coffee, and definitely apple cider vinegar is a good one to have in there. Now try and crush these food addictions in 24 to 48 hours um, to really give you that fast track to freedom. So just commit to that goal for longer than 24 hours at least. Uh, you know, for a day I'm going to do this particular strategy. Or for these two days I'm going to do this strategy and I'll do this strategy. So, you know, pick, pick a goal at least uh, for one day. Now, keep your window small, of course. Now, supercharge your production um, and productivity with exercise and self-development. So stay uh, lightly active during this time. Don't just don't panic and go, what, I'm not trying to get up the door. Um, low reps are good and low sets are good. So high intensity is the best way to supercharge everything, uh, but don't overdo it and don't oversweep. Uh, avoid you know, heavy sprints uh, and, and other high intensity cardio methods that are quite arduous. Instead, choose for shorter term, um, varied intensity interval training is quite good. Uh, where you're doing one or two minutes flat out, uh, and then you're, you're pulling it right back. You're only know, doing a few rounds of that. Um, you can also put on meditation music like binaural beats. Keeps things nice and calm 
for you while you're trying to undergo this change. Revitalize your diet with nutrient packed foods. It's so important to eat quality, nutritious foods. Uh, emphasize time restricted eating, of course. So when you are eating, make sure you are eating um, the right amount that you need to revive your S drive. Um, it's got to be nutrient packed. If you are eating fruits and vegetables, uh, go for it. That's fine. But uh, if you're working with me personally, I'd advise you off some of those things because they can really uh, include lots of high oxalate foods. But we are aiming for grass-fed meats. This is a way to supercharge proteins and animal fats. Of course, avoid sweets. Supplement with essential fats and vitamins if necessary. Now, number seven, from fluctuations to stability, manage blood sugar and insulin levels. And this is an important rule because some people who have high blood sugar might struggle with fasting. So avoid eating high carb food uh, when you are doing some fasting, of course, because you're going to up and down and spike things uh, and really uh, make big changes there uh, with your system. That's going to cause you to feel um, lightheaded or dizzy and you might even talk your way out of it going, I have to eat. So avoid the high sugary, high starch foods and consume lean protein sources. And combined with training, this is going to help with your body composition changes. Number eight, don't panic. Learn about the common symptoms of fasting and ketosis. So as you might you know, appreciate, hunger is not cumulative. It does go away. Drink green tea, black coffee, apple cider vinegar, and just, just curb things with, um, you know, and avoiding dehydration by drinking plenty of water. Um, now, it's important to do this, of course, because your blood sugar uh, drops um, after sitting for long periods of time. Headaches are temporary. Try and avoid Panadols, uh, and your you know, head isn't going to explode. So just keep drinking water and keep calm. Constipation can occur uh, with lower food intake, of course, so you just need to be aware of this. And just eat meat in the feeding window, uh, which is going to help those poos become nice and nice and kind of, I wouldn't say sticky, but uh, have a good uh, constitution on them. Now, cramps can also be avoided from getting electrolytes and making sure you're taking an Epsom salt bath. Number nine, reach your ideal weight faster in these three steps. Everything needs to be tracked in order to get a gain. So track your weight, track your steps if you want to, to really give yourself that, in a sense, gamification um, experience. Um, you might even want it to monitor changes by you know, tracking ketosis using ketone strips or even a glucomonitor if you want to get one from the chemist. And you know, get that proof. Get that proof from before and after, and after photos so you can actually see what's changing right in front of you. The guys in my program do this on a weekly, if not monthly basis, uh, and it it's really is very impactful. Now, number 10, fast your way to optimal health and wellness. Now, is this a rule? It's kind of like a guideline. Make fasting a lifestyle. You know, once you're steadily incorporating, um, you know, 12 hours, 16 hour fast, start throwing in the odd OMAD on one meal a day or even the nomads. And many health practitioners, at least the ones who are awake and not, uh, not supported by big pharma companies, they recommend, uh, you know, you know multi-day fasting as um, you know, three to five days every, you know, every two or three, maybe even four times a year in order for optimal health. So that's a good thing. It's been happening for centuries. Now use that strategy, as I said, for optimal health, but you, know, you can even use it for seasonal events like summer's coming up or you know, to control what you're eating over winter. And if New Year's is coming up, you might even wanna undergo some fasting really to clean out your system. That's it for the training, the 10 rules. I trust you enjoyed it. Get stuck into it, mate. Cheers.